Fowler M460 uses Bluetooth Smart technology and that lets us interact with our smartphones and we can do lots of things here. So it will connect with the Polar Flow app on smartphones and this is great because it lets us set up all the device settings on the go while we're out and about so I can add uh, a new screen if I've forgotten to add something that I want to see during my ride. I can change my heart rate zones, I can change my power zones, I can do all the device settings even when I'm not at home and I don't have my computer uh, with me. So I can do it all with the smartphone, which is really, really handy. Also, because of the Bluetooth Smart technology and the connection with the smartphone, we can have features like uh, smartphone notifications. So I'll see on the display who's calling me. I'll get notification for WhatsApp and all other kind of messages, etc., etc., while I'm riding. So that's great. It means I can just leave my phone in my pocket and I don't have to, to risk taking it out while I'm riding. As you can hear, I'm getting a call right now from a friend, but it's way too hard to answer now. So I'll give him a call later. So here we are, we finished a, a nice ride here in a beautiful place, lovely day. So now let's have a quick look at what we can do with M460 once we finish the ride. So now we'll see how I sync the data from M460 to the Polar Flow app with my mobile device. Okay, so we finished syncing and here I get an overview of all the training data from today. So we can see just a short ride to highlight the, the features of the M460. Here we see all of the, the summary data from the heart rate, the average heart rate, the speed, the distance, the ascent, descent, average power, and of course from my power meter I get left-right balance. So all the summary data from my training session here. Also the um, M460 will give me an indication of my training load, which is really important. And then on the Polar Flow website, I'll get an estimation of the recovery needed from each training session, because it's so important to balance training stress with adequate recovery in order to improve. To get a better idea of the training session just done, I can get a look here of the graph view of all the data, so I can see also the altitude curve and the heart rate and then if I want I can go look at the power too to make sure that I get a complete analysis of the training session. Then down below, last thing I might want to look at is the map so I can see exactly where I've been riding today. Okay, so I might want to go and explore a new route on my next ride. And then of course all the training data from today gets synced automatically to Strava so I'll find out all the segments, all the information and the classifications from the segments I did, I'll find them directly on Strava. And of course then if I want, once I get home, I can have a look on the Polar Flow website and uh, get even more information there. So all in all, a complete analysis of training information even when you're out on the road.